Hola, ni hao, suste, anuizeo, konnichiwa, ciao, bonjour. Hello to all of you. My name is Zarina Mike Rodriguez, and I'm honored to be Mayfair High School's valedictorian for class 2017. First of all, I would like to thank my dad who came from New York, my mom, my grandma, my tifas, my brother Mark, and all of my friends for coming here tonight to see me graduate. I would also like to thank teachers, staff members, other family members, and Mayfair students for being here on this wonderful occasion. It is you and your support that allows us, class of 2017, to be here tonight to receive our diplomas and to mark the greatest change of our lives. As everyone already knows, we're all different here. From the ways we say hello to the places we grew up in, we have different backgrounds and we grew up with different perspectives. Not only do we differ from each other by ethnicity, but we also differ from our unique experiences and personalities. Let's look back at the evolution of our life here at Mayfair. In middle school, most of us hung out with our elementary friends. Then comes high school, and some of us were starting to grow apart. Groups were venturing off as people made the decision between AP or non-AP courses, band, sports, maritime, clubs, sticking with old friends, etc. We made new friends and memories. We started discovering our true identities and realizing how diverse we all are. When we look back in the past four years, we realized that our point of view evolved to be completely different from the person sitting next to us. In my point of view, the past four years were filled with so much learning. As an immigrant who only came here in September 26, 2010, I was confused and clueless. But this cluelessness drove me to be even more curious and determined. I wanted to learn and try out everything. So I jumped into as many activities oh, yeah. and challenging courses as I could. For example, figure skating, reading, volunteering, key clubs, doing Mr. Wynn's homework, and everything else from my high school experience taught me hard work, commitment, and leadership. To me, they're mentally and physically challenging, but I enjoyed most of them, and I gained a lot from these experiences. Now, my experiences over the last four years may be different from yours, but they're similar in a way because each of our unique experiences are important for each and every one of us. Many of those experiences were founded on love. Not just love for a person, but love for what we do. Love for what you're passionate about, love for your parents, love for others, and love for yourself. Think about your experiences in high school. Although your parents or someone else might have an influence on what you do, you, for the most part, did things that you enjoy. You did things because you love to learn and explore them. But first, loving something requires learning, and learning takes patience. You build up on what you learn and improve on it. And it is your choice if you want to keep on learning and pursuing what you're passionate about. Nevertheless, if you're interested in learning anything, you have already accomplished something. Think of what you learn every day as self-fulfilling. Use individual experiences and life lessons to make your life meaningful, enjoyable, and important. It also makes the world meaningful because you not only learn to help yourself, but also to help others. Therefore, I encourage all of you to love learning as you will face challenges in your lives that you'll be required to learn and do by yourself. And also, just have fun along the way because it's not just about the grades, the rewards, or the destination. It's also about the journey. Seniors, always remember that monsoons never stop learning. And once a monsoon, always a monsoon. Ooh. Tonight is probably the last time that you will see some key figures in your life. So seize this opportunity to hug them, to thank those who have impacted you, and lastly, to say goodbye. Graduates, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope to see you succeed in your future endeavors. Thank you. Yes! Woo!